My name is Vince Pizzicani. I'm the Robert A. Heinlein Professor at the United States Naval Academy. And I'm here at the Houghton Mars Project site on Devon Island to carry out a radiation experiment, which is supported by the National Space Biomedical Research Institute. This is an instrument that measures not only the amount of radiation, but the effectiveness of that radiation that will, could cause cancer. So it gives you a direct measurement of your cancer risk. My project, uh, which is being, again, supported by the National Space Biomedical Research Institute through, through NASA, is to take this instrument and really reduce it to about the size, a little bit larger than a pack of cards. And uh, that's, we, we need that so we can put it in an astronaut's spacesuit so that when he or she are walking around the surface of the moon and there is no atmosphere to attenuate radiation and you're really exposed more than you are anywhere else, that they will then have a real-time measure of their actual risk. And if the risk is, exceeds a certain level, then they can go out and seek shelter. Uh, most of the badges that you see in x-ray centers, uh, if you've been to a hospital, they're what we call TLDs, and they actually measure radiation, but you find out your exposure after the fact. We need something that works in real time. And that sums up the project, and we're here to try to do a radiation experiment to see what the levels of radiation at this site are. This unit is self-contained. Self we, can, we can put batteries in here or we can run it off uh, power and it actually gives us real-time measurements and this is a memory card so all the data that we collect uh, minute by minute is uh, stored on the memory card and we can then tell the uh, not only the, the type of radiation from the, from the energy but its effectiveness again in causing, causing cancer. Various buttons are so we can adjust various uh, as, aspects of it. It has a built-in GPS system so we can actually determine the location of where we are. So if we're on the move, we will actually get not only position uh, and altitude as a function of time, but also the radiation exposure level.